let's look at practice test two, which um these practice tests are past CSEC mathematics paper one, and you have seen the examples that are these same tests. Indeed, you have seen them within the Schoology account and you had the chance to do them and have them marked online all right you should have done that before you come here so let's start looking at practice test 2 the first question says 0 0.045 by 10 to the negative 3 in scientific form is all right first of all you know that you in writing a number in scientific form you look from left to right and the first non-zero digit to see you write that down then the point the other digits then times 10 to a power you have a zero here and a zero here then a four so four is the first non-zero digit that you see so you have four point and five this five times 10 to a power all right now you have times 10 to the negative 3 here if you move this point one two places to the right uh, to the right right here let me re rewrite this this was your point zero four five by 10 to the negative 3 when you move one place to the right it's a, ma a matter of multiplying you are really multiplying by 10 now move it one more place you are multiplying by 100 to get back the number you must divide by 100 so you must move this number this 10 to the negative 3 means when you divide by 10 you go one place more to the negative in the negative range and when you divide by a hundred it means two places more so this will go negative three negative four negative five in other words the 0 0.045 times 10 to the negative three means 10 to the negative three what it really means is one over a thousand all right so this is one over a thousand that's why in a negative three you go one two it means you're multiplying here by a hundred you must compensate by dividing by a hundred so this dividing by a hundred mean you're multiplying by one over a hundred so this one thousand with three zeros on it would have two more zeros so you have one two three four five zeros so it's still negative five all right so the answer here is b oh by the way i have the answers down here all right the answer here to question one is b so that's question one b let's look at question two question two says the answer is b as well so let's look at question two let's erase these things here and look at question two what question two says is the number three two seven four seven written to four significant figures is it so what you have here is three two seven four seven you want it to four significant figures so as you look from left to right, the first non-zero digit you see is the first significant figure. So you see three, good. And two is the second significant figure. And seven is the third. And fourth is the fourth significant figure. All right. Now you cannot leave it like this because this is 32,000 odd. You can't round this off and say it's 3,000 odd. All right. If you're starting with 
30 odd thousand when you round it off it must be 30 odd thousand as well now you're going to have something here after the four this number after the four if it is five or more you go back and add one to this four this is seven so what you're going to have to do is go back and add one to this four to make it five then fill in the zero to show that it is thirty odd thousand it's not three thousand two hundred and seventy five it's thirty two thousand seven hundred and fifty this is 30 something thousand when you write it to how many significant figure it should also be 30 something thousand so this is 32 750 so you see 2 is B the answer for 2 is B all right now let's look at question 3 let's make zoom in make it a little larger All right question three probably is a bit too large let me make it like this all right this is question three it says uh, let me adjust the size okay it says the sizes of interior angles of a polygon are x, 2x, 60, 3x and 36 degrees. What is the value of x? So, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 corners. Alright? That means five angles mean five sides how many um angles are inside a pentagon five sides i believe it's 540 all right and let's look what did you get for this answer question three it says d question three says d but anyway let's see what happens here you have five sides one two three four five you have x 2x 60 3x and 36 now if it's 540 then you have x plus 2x plus 60 plus 3x plus 36 is equal to 540 degrees x this is 1x so 1x plus 2x that's 3x plus another 3x that's 6x plus 60 plus 36 that's what 96 96 is 540 so 6x is 540 minus 96 what is 540 minus 96 6x equals 540 minus 96 6 minus 0 3 4 this is 4 9 10 11 12 13 this gives you 4 and 4 so 6x is equal to 444 so if you divide by 6 you get 222 over 2063 so 1x plus 2x plus 60 plus 3x plus 36 96 2113 and 36 give a 540 540 minus 96 just double checking you have 540 6 minus 0 can 1 from 4 you get 3 10 6 all right 4 13 19 12 13 so this is 3 not 3 1 
3 into 21 is what? 7. Remainder 1 3 into 12 4. This gives you 74. Alright. So when you add up the x, the 2x, the 60, the 3x, and the 36, you get 6x plus 96, and that gives you 540. And then you do your arithmetic and you get out 74. But then the fact is I had remembered that there are 540 degrees in a pentagon. Suppose you didn't remember that, what would you do? Let's see. If it you imagine that first of all if you had a triangle the total angles would be 180 so if you add all add up all of this and get 6x plus 96 is 180 then are you know it's not a triangle right 180 minus 96 gives you what 180 minus 90 that's 19 minus 6 84 6x is 84 and when you divide by 6 6 into 6 1 6 into 8 goes 1 times and 2 6 into 24 4 is it shouldn't be 14 because you know that it's not a triangle but you wouldn't bother trying the triangle you know it's five sides so the next and the next thing in line is a four-sided figure quadrilateral and you know the total angle is 360 degrees like you have 490 degrees here 360 so if this was 360 if you had added up all of this and you get it equal to 360 then you said 6x is equal to 360 minus 96 360 minus 96 if I drop 60 from each I have 300 minus 96 from 60 is what 36 so 300 minus 36 that would be like 270 minus 6 and that would give you what 264 now if you have this as 6x is equal to 264 6x is 264 when you divide by 6 6 into 6 1 6 into 26 goes what 6 4 40 something 6 into 26 is 4 time remainder 2 6 into 24 goes 4 you know it shouldn't be 44 it should be higher than 44 so if you tried a rectangle no we not try a rectangle any four-sided figure you know the angle is 360 and when you put them together like this you get 44 and you know it's supposed to be higher than 44 the angle would be 74 right but this particular question I must say is not as easy as many of the other questions right it's a particularly difficult question all right now let's erase these things oh that's a small eraser i wanted a bigger eraser How do I get a bigger eraser? I want a bigger eraser than that. And we continue looking at this. One we had done one, two, and three so far. Okay. We can probably take a little break after four and five. Questions four and five, right? So we have this questions we're going to have to zoom out to see all of it
it says which of the mapping which of the following relation represents a one-to-one -one mapping well let's you can easily see it, but let's look at this this is a many to one two going to one not this this is a many to one and also a one no this is one to one but the thing is this this showing a a to two c to two but the thing is a is pointing to two things so this is a one to many so it's not this this you have three pointing to one here so this is a many to one it's not this the only thing left is this one to one each item on the left point to one only on the right so four is a let's see what they say in question four question four a all right question five they say is c let's see if question five is c Question 5. Where is question 5? Alright, question 5 is here. I'm jumping pages. Question 5. Let's zoom in to question 5. What it says is I want to delete, erase these first. The expression 3x minus 2 times x plus 1 is equal to which one of them? Let's see. If you multiply these things, what you'll get? First of all, 3x times x, that's 3x squared. Everything has 3x squared, no problem. 3x plus 1 is plus 3x. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times 1 is minus 2. Now the thing is, there's a minus 2 at the end. So B is out and D is out. It's a matter of choosing between A and C. So let's see now. It's the middle part here that you're going to have to fix up. And see whether it is a negative X or a positive X. 3X minus 2X is a positive X. So the answer is C. What did um, this say again? Question 5C. Alright. Okay, question 5 is C. So we'll continue next time from question 6.